Tired of your monitor sounding like it's trapped in a tin can? I hear you, literally. Whether you're gaming, working, or just vibing to your favorite show, good audio can make all the difference. In this video, I'll show you how to connect a speaker to your monitor so you can finally enjoy rich, booming sound the way it's meant to be. We'll cover both wired and wireless methods, and I'll share some quick fixes for common issues along the way. Let's dive in and level up your sound game. Your ears will thank you. Before we jump into the setup, let's start with the basics. Understanding the compatibility of your equipment is key to avoiding frustration later. First, identify the audio output options on your monitor. Most monitors come with standard outputs like a 3.5mm AUX port, HDMI, or even USB. Some may also include optical audio outputs, although these are less common. Then check your speaker's input options. Are they AUX, RCA, Bluetooth, or something else? Active speakers, which have built-in amplifiers, are ready for a direct connection to your monitor. Just plug them in and enjoy enhanced audio. Passive speakers, however, don't have internal amplifiers. These require an external amplifier to boost the weak audio signal from your monitor into a powerful, rich sound. Don't skip this step. It's essential for passive speakers. For a straightforward connection, a 3.5mm AUX cable is the easiest option. Start by checking if your monitor has a 3.5mm audio output port. These are usually located on the back or side of the monitor and may be labelled as AUX or indicated with a headphone icon. Once found, connect one end of the cable to the monitor and the other to your speaker. If your speaker uses RCA inputs instead, you'll need a 3.5mm to RCA cable. After making the connections, adjust your monitor's audio settings and the source device to ensure the sound is routed correctly through the external speaker. This step is often overlooked but crucial for a successful setup. What if your monitor doesn't have a 3.5mm port? Don't worry, there are other solutions. An HDMI audio extractor can separate the audio from the HDMI signal, allowing you to connect speakers using an AUX or optical cable. Here's how it works. Connect an HDMI cable from your source device, such as a gaming console, to the extractor's input. Then, connect another HDMI cable from the extractor's output to your monitor. Finally, use a 3.5mm or optical cable to connect your speakers to the extractor's audio output. This method is ideal for monitors without audio output ports, but note that the extractor might slightly affect the audio quality. Another great option is a USB audio card. This small device plugs into your monitor's USB port and provides an AUX port for your speakers. USB audio cards are known for delivering clearer, static-free sound, making them a fantastic choice for high-quality audio setups. To use this method, simply connect the USB audio card to your monitor and then attach your speaker to the card using a 3.5mm cable. This setup is especially useful for those who need superior sound clarity, whether for gaming, movies or music. If your monitor and speaker both have Bluetooth, congrats, you're about to join the wireless elite. Start by turning on your Bluetooth speaker and putting it in pairing mode, you know, it's hey, pick me moment. Next, fire up Bluetooth on your monitor and select your speaker from the list of devices, like swiping right on the perfect match. If your monitor doesn't have Bluetooth, no worries. You can easily fix that by grabbing a Bluetooth transmitter. Check out the link below to find the perfect one for your setup. It's like giving your monitor a Bluetooth upgrade without the need for a fancy new model. Just plug it in and boom, instant wireless magic. No more wrestling with cables or untangling spaghetti wires. It's time for sleek, stress-free sound. Sometimes your monitor and speaker might not play nice if they use different types of audio outputs. For example, if your monitor has RCA or AUX, but your speaker needs a digital input, an analog to digital audio converter is the solution. This little device converts the signal from analog to digital, like coaxial or optical, ensuring a smooth connection. Just make sure your monitor has an audio output port and you're all set. What if you encounter issues like no sound, poor sound quality, or delayed audio? These problems are common but usually easy to fix. If there's no sound, start by checking all cables to ensure they're securely connected to the correct ports. Loose connections often result in silence. Next, verify the volume levels on both your monitor and speaker. Are they muted or set too low? Adjust accordingly. On your source device, make sure the audio output is set to your monitor or external speaker in the sound settings. Poor sound quality? Let's troubleshoot. 
If you're using wireless speakers, interference from other devices can cause static or disruption, so try moving them away from any other wireless gadgets. If the problem continues, swap out the cable or adjust the speaker's placement to improve acoustics. Sometimes where you place your speakers can make a world of difference in sound clarity. For passive speakers, make sure your amplifier is powered on, properly connected and set to the right volume. A quick check could be all it takes to fix the issue. Delayed audio can occur with wireless setups or HDMI extractors. In such cases, switching to a direct wired connection often resolves the problem. Additionally, make sure your source device's audio drivers are up to date. Outdated drivers can cause delays or other audio issues. If you've tried these solutions and still face challenges, refer to the user manuals for your devices or reach out to customer support for guidance. And that's a wrap. You're now ready to connect your speaker to your monitor and enjoy sound like never before, whether it's with a classic AUX cable, Bluetooth or even HDMI audio extractors. I hope this guide helps you level up your audio game. If you found it helpful, please hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more handy tech tips. Got any questions or extra tips to share? Drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.